While the Chicago Fire Department has not released a cause of this fire, we did some digging into the history of the building. CBS 2's Tara Molina picks up that part of the story. Tara, there is a history of violations in one of those buildings. Jim and Marie, there sure is. City inspectors actually just cited the apartment building involved. I'm going to step away so you can take a look. It's still standing this afternoon. Damaged, but still standing just behind that massive destruction you see here. They just failed a city inspection a few months ago. Reduced to rubble, the commercial building that houses a gym and brewery bore the brunt of the fire damage. But with no cause, we dug into city records to see if there have been any issues inside any of the buildings involved. We didn't find any recent inspection violations or reported issues with the city at the commercial property owned by Joe Bradkey. But with the apartment building next door listed under two addresses and owned by Gary Carlson, we found inspection violations as recently as last year. The city found electrical violations during an inspection in early November, but the specifics are unclear. Then last month, early January 2022, the city issued a permit to correct those electrical violations. It's not clear if they'd been fixed, and we're still waiting for the city's Department of Buildings to address our requests for clarification this President's Day with offices closed. I brought the issues to State Representative Jamie Andrade at the scene. And if he didn't repair his building and we'll see what the cause is, then he needs to be held responsible. I've tried to reach Gary Carlson, the man who owns that apartment building several times today. I was able to connect with the woman who identified herself as a member of his office. I asked about those reported electrical issues and whether they'd been fixed yet. No answer. For now, reporting live in Albany Park, I'm Tara Molina, CBS 2 News. Tara, thank you.